Yes, welcome back to the Sea Morning Show right here on Sea Today. Now, Aubrey, yes. earlier we've talked about um, the Sokola mm -hmm. Institute, which is focused more on providing education for traditional communities across Indonesia. But now mm -hmm. we will chat with the founder of another educational society, which offers its programs in numerous villages. Yes, and this time we will talk of problem solving in villages and towns where various issues remain. And thankfully, volunteers from the Kecil Bergera community stands ready to help. And it is a community founded to help resolve issues in villages and many other places. So how do they do it? Let's talk directly with Kecil Bergera founder Greg Sindana. Hello Mas Greg, how are you? Hello, I hope they Hi! We are great, Mas Greg. I think you're gonna sing the song, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have some that composed specially for us here today. Okay! Aww, this is sweet! Mm. Roll it! We are what? From Padang in Indonesia, we are one. From Ho Chi Minh in Vietnam, we are one. We are Southeast Asia. Mountain sea, wells and rivers, our motherland. Diverse in culture, mm, share the same room. We are one from Sarawak Malaysia. We are one from Cebu in Philippines. We are one. We are Southeast Asia. We are one in Southeast Asia today. Southeast Asia today. Impressive, so cool. impressive. I really want to know. Did you just make that song yeah. like what, five minutes? See, he just made the song for five Whoa. minutes. Oh my god, he is a pro. It's, yeah, it's so catchy, right? I like know. the tone, the lyrics. I know. Know. <laughs> Okay, Mas Greg, as we saw earlier, you have various activities, right, involving the youth. So, can you tell us what Kecil Bergerak actually is and what sort of education you provide? Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Rahma and Aubrey. So, uh, Kecil Bergerak, Bergerak actually is a youth community mm -hmm. that focuses on education and art. Okay. So, uh, the name Kecil Bergerak itself means small movement. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. No, so if, even though we, we, we are small, uh, but but we always move. Right, I'm always so, moving, yeah. doing something positive, yes. of yes. course, yes. 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 Now, yes. Masgrek, um, does your community, um, this Kecil Bergerak, regularly move uh, move from one village to another village to another? Or do you, want, yes. do you wait for there's a request first from another village, yes. then you move there? Yeah, 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 yeah. okay, okay, uh, I agree. So, uh, uh, talking about education, so we, we provide contextual education uh, called uh, village youth. Mm. Uh, so, be besides uh, being contextual, this, this village school, uh, this village school is also participatory. It means that the, the curriculum uh, and the schedule are always uh, discussed first uh, mm -hmm. with, with the village youth. Okay. okay. So, so, we involve the, the youth in deciding uh, what subject that we will learn in village school. Uh -huh. So yes, uh, like what Aubrey say, that we move from one village to another uh, in once in, in two months. Okay. So okay. so we're based on the village youth request. Okay. okay. Because we, we think by, by requesting it means like uh, that they are eager to learn. So mm. so we wait for them to, to request. I yeah. see. And when tackling uh, tackling issues in a village or town, do you collaborate with local institution and also authorities mm -hmm. there? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, uh, Rahma. Uh, of course, uh, when tackling issues uh, in the village, of course we collaborate with uh, various uh, elements in, in, in the village, such as 
we use uh, the women, the elder, and also like the the village government uh, and also the the authorities. Mm -hmm. And then uh, to start the the collaboration and discussion, we usually uh, use art as as a way to stimulate uh, collaboration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm sure that um, when you are you know, trying to give education um, from mm. one village to another village, um, I'm sure there is always challenges. Now, what challenges yeah. um, commonly you find? Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, of course, there, there, there are challenges. Mm. So the common challenges that we face uh, in the village is that uh, the, the village youth has a low bargaining position. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the situation has really made them difficult to get involved in their own village. Uh, th that's why uh, the, the main idea of uh, village school yeah. is strengthening the bargaining position of the village youth through upgrading uh, knowledge and then a network, the youth uh, village youth network, and concrete contribution. Okay. okay. And then also, uh, Mbak Rahma and Aubrey, yes. uh, another challenge that we face uh, in, in the village is, especially in this pandemic situation, is the internet connection. Right. Oh, it's very classic, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Since we have to organize the, the village school, the contextual education, uh, through online platform. Okay. Yeah, so the, yeah, so the, the internet connection has always become uh, One of the challenges, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Mas Greg, but can you explain more about funding? How is your community funded and how do you manage funds for your work? Yeah, okay, uh, okay, about the funding, how we can fund our uh, movement. So because uh, Kecil Bergerak, Kecil Bergerak is an independent community, mm -hmm. so almost every, uh, our program has its own merchandise, like like what I wear right now. So we, we create a t-shirt, mm. uh, ah. we create a pot bag, scarf, uh -huh. so, so this t-shirt is we specially made for for village school. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> nice. Aku anak yeah. desa. Okay. Yeah, aku anak desa. So uh. we sell it uh, through online, mm -hmm. and then uh, yeah, it's, it's also how how we make the uh, village youth feeling proud. Okay. As yes. a village youth. Yeah. By selling merchandise, right? Yeah. yeah which is which is a very yeah. good a, a good idea because everything is online right now, yes. right? Okay. Yeah. One of the ways yeah. to get yeah. um, funds is by selling merchandise. Good. Now, speaking yeah. of the um, music video earlier, we heard that soundtracks were made from programs offered by the Kecil Bergerak community itself. Now, can you tell us more about those programs? Okay. Uh, so, uh, Mbak Rahma and Aubrey. Uh, that almost all of our programs has soundtracks. Mm. Uh, so far, we already produce uh, acting songs. So mm -hmm. the songs for us is become like the soundtrack of our movement. Okay. So uh, our latest music video called uh, Ada Cinta di Desa that we previously see. Yeah. It is the soundtrack of village school. Ah. So village school like like what I uh, made before. Village school is a contextual education. Mm -hmm. for strengthening the bargaining position of uh, the village youth. Okay. okay. Yeah. And Mas Greg, you also have a mural division, right? Which succeeded uh, yeah. in reviving uh, lost tradition. So, can you tell us more about it? Mm, okay. Uh, once in 2015, yeah. we created a mural in, in uh, one of the kampungs in Yogyakarta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, collaborating with the uh, with the local youth. So, as I said before, we use art as a way to stimulate discussion and collaboration. Mm -hmm. So, at the time in our discussion with uh, the local youth, yeah. it turned out that they have uh, their own local art performances, mm -hmm. which serve as a social critics called uh, Ketopra Ongke. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So it is is a uh, local uh, art performance. Mm -hmm. So this performance has never been seen in the states mm -hmm. since 1960s, 1970s. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Then uh, we dis we we decided to create a mural that portrays uh, one of the figures of this performance uh, art in a big wall around 20 meters wow. near the traditional market. Yeah. Wow. And okay. Then the, 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 the people of that kampung watching this mural every day 
uh, on their way to the market. Uh-huh. Uh, they, they, the people they they start to talk about the long lost art performance. Right. Uh, like what you say. And then after several discussion, yeah. and then they they agree to revive it. They practice, and then yeah, until now they still perform it. Wow, oh, which is good, which yeah. is good, because I can, yeah. Aubrey, I can still remember Aubrey when, um, when I was little, yeah. my mom used, she, she was a big fan of Ketoprak, yeah. and then she would, would watch it at Taman Mini Indonesia uh-huh. Hinda uh-huh. every Saturday, I can wow. still remember that, oh my god. Okay, now uh, Mas Gurek, we heard that uh, the community itself is turning 15 years old this wow. month, okay, congratulations. congratulations. Now, um, Thank you very much. since you very much. most expenses um, incurred by by the community are, are covered by, you know, personally by you. Can you tell us how it was financially um, sustained other than, you know, you just mentioned about um, selling, selling merchandise, the, the yeah. merchandises. Where else okay. can you can you get um, the fundings? Okay, okay, Mbak Rahma and Aubrey. So, yeah, it's true that uh, the expense is covered by, by me and my wife, actually. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. And as a founder, we as a founder, but that's uh, actually in the early phase of Kecil Bergerak. Mm. Yeah, so slowly Kecil Bergerak are self-funded. And mm. since 2015, 2016, it's totally self-funded. Okay. So I think the, the key of how Kecil Bergerak sustain mm-hmm. is the collaboration method, the gotong mm. royong, yeah. the mutual cooperation. Yeah, yeah so by, by doing so, we don't need uh, a lot of money yeah, to create an event, to create uh, artwork, etc. Yeah, Ooh. the collaboration is that the key. Yeah. And but what is your hope, Mas Greg, for Kecil Bergerak moving forward? What is your goal for the future? Okay, uh, my goal for the future for Kecil Bergerak. Okay, I have, of course I hope this movement, the Kecil Bergerak movement, will sustain in the future. Mm. And then uh, I hope in the future we can create a broader network and can collaborate with youth from many countries in, in Southeast Asia. Yeah, I, I hope start from uh, Southeast Asia today, then we can start something with, with the youth in Southeast Asia. Wow, nice. Small but sure, <laughs> which is very good, yes, Arby. Yes. Now, um, one last question, Ms. Gadek. If, if you, know, um, you know, people out there that are watching this show already are, are interested to help out or to reach to you, where where can they find you? Where can they reach out to you? Okay, okay. Uh, so uh, for the youth out there, that's uh, what uh, this. You can contact us in Instagram. Okay. Uh, at Kecil Bergerak with T J K E T J I L. So it's uh, it's all all. It's all, all spelling, spell. right? Kecil Bergerak, yeah, right. yeah, that's yeah, right. right, okay. Kecil Bergerak. Okay, so, so mostly we, we are active in Instagram. At Instagram, okay guys, so there you know where to find um, Mas Gerek and the foundation. Yes. Just go to Instagram and search Kecil Bergerak. Right? Okay, and last question, uh, what is your message for you all over Indonesia and also Southeast Asia, Mas Gerek? Okay, for the youth uh, in Indonesia and Southeast Asia, uh, let us uh, collaborate each other and then let us understand ourselves, learning about ourselves, uh, learning about our context and then uh, let us open to collaboration to create uh, innovation. Yeah, although it's small, but just let's act to do or to create innovation. Right, okay. Yeah. So Greg Sindana, he is the found, uh, founder of the Kecil Bergerak. So thank you very much for your time, Mas Greg, this morning. Yeah. Stay thank safe, you, stay Aubrey. healthy. Thank you, Mas Greg. Bye. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye.